objectives. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to 1. Identify the different parts of the male reproductive system. 2. Enumerate the parts of the male reproductive system and their function. 3. Compare and contrast the female and male reproductive system. 4. Give ways on how to take care of the male reproductive organs. Look at these images. Can you remember how we call the smaller or younger one? Correct. They are babies, children, or offspring. They are the young ones of their parents. Can you remember what process allows living things to produce offspring or children? Great job. It is called reproduction. Reproduction is the process of producing younger living things or offspring. Males in Human Reproduction The story of human reproduction starts with an egg cell and sperm cells. Egg cells and sperm cells are sex cells, also called gametes. They are the building blocks needed to produce offspring. When the gametes are ready, fertilization can take place. Fertilization is the process wherein an egg cell unites with a sperm cell. In this process, materials inside the egg cell and sperm cell combine. This process results in a fertilized egg called zygote, which develops to become a baby. For males, the body part called testis and epididymis produce and store the sperm cells until the sperm cells are ready to exit the body. A sperm cell has a head that contains materials that will combine with the egg cell. The sperm head also has substances that can break the protective covering of the egg cell. The sperm's neck called midpiece provides energy for the sperm tail. The sperm tail helps the sperm cell to move or swim toward the egg cell. When sperm cells are ready for release, they exit the male reproductive system along with the fluid called semen. The semen provides food energy and protection to the sperm cell as it travels toward the egg cell. The process of preparing the release and the actual releasing of the sperm cell from the male body is called ejaculation. Let us go over the parts of the male reproductive system and learn about their tasks, particularly in the process of ejaculation. The testes is a pair of male sex organ, or male gonad, that produces the sperm cells and the substances called testosterone. Testosterone regulates the production of sperm and the changes in the male body during puberty stage. When the sperm cells are produced, they move to the epididymis to fully develop their parts. This part keeps the mature sperm cells until ejaculation takes place. Outside the male body, a sac of skin called the scrotum, covers and protects the testes and keeps the temperature of the testes cooler than the rest of the body. The testes need cooler temperature to produce sperm cells. During ejaculation, the epididymis releases mature sperm cells into the vas deferens. The vas deferens serves as passageway of the sperm cells from the epididymis to the ejaculatory duct inside the prostate gland. The male body releases millions of sperm cells but only one sperm cell survives to meet the egg cell and undergo fertilization. Once the sperm cells reach the end of the vas deferens, they exit the vas deferens and transfer to the ejaculatory duct. The ejaculatory duct is where the vas deferens and seminal vesicles meet. The seminal vesicles are sac-like pouches attached at the end of the vas deferens. It produces sugar-rich fluid as part of the semen, which nourishes the sperm cells and helps them move. Along the ejaculatory duct, the sperm cells and fluid from the seminal vesicle travel inside the prostate gland. 
The prostate gland is a walnut-sized gland that produces a thin fluid that protects the sperm cells and helps the sperm cells to move. It releases prostate fluid to join the sperm cells and the fluid from the seminal vesicle to form the semen. When the semen is complete, the muscles in the prostate glands help push the semen into the urethra. The urethra is the last passageway of the semen until it exits the male body. The urine or pee of males also passes through the urethra. Outside of the body, the urethra is supported by an elongated muscular organ called the penis. The penis supports the urethra during ejaculation. The tip or head part of the penis is called glands, which is covered with a foreskin. In some cultures, like in our country, most young males undergo circumcision wherein the foreskin of the penis is removed. As a common passageway of the urine and semen, the urethra also prevents urine and semen materials from mixing up. Remember, the urine or pee is one of the body's waste material. It may contain harmful substances that should not be included in the semen. During urination, the part of urethra connected to the prostate gland closes so that urine cannot enter the prostate gland. During ejaculation, the part of urethra connected to the bladder closes to prevent the semen from entering the bladder. The bladder collects the urine before releasing it outside the body through the urethra. Also, another part of the male reproductive system helps clean the urethra. It is called the Cowper's gland. Before the semen reaches the urethra, this gland releases fluid to clean the urethra from possible urine residue. Function of the male reproductive system. Knowing the processes involving the different parts of the male reproductive system, you now understand that its function is to primarily produce the male gamete called sperm cell, and also nourish and prepare the sperm cells for possible fertilization in the female reproductive system. What would happen if all men in the world cannot produce sperm cells? That's correct. Reproduction will no longer take place. Humans will no longer survive as a group of living things, population, on Earth. Ways on how to keep the male reproductive system healthy. 1. Eat healthy food. 2. Drink plenty of water. 3. Have enough sleep. 4. Exercise regularly. Five, avoid unhealthy habits like smoking. Six, take a daily bath with soap and water. Seven, use clean and comfortable underwear every day. Practice exercise. Tell the name of the parts of the male reproductive system. You are correct. The parts of the male reproductive system are 1. Testes 2. Epididymis 3. Scrotum 4. Vas deferens 5. Seminal vesicles 6. Prostate gland 7. Urethra 8. Penis How are the female and male reproductive systems similar and different to each other? Great job! They both have organs called gonads that produce gametes or sex cells for reproduction. They differ in the sex cells they produce. The females produce egg cells, while the males produce sperm cells. 
females and males also have different reproductive body parts.